Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hi. Uh, uh, is, is this Rajesh? Yes, uh, this is Rajesh. Okay, uh, this is Vikas uh, 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 from Conigent. Mm -hmm. uh, so, as per your discussion with the HR, I'm going to take a uh, interview today. Uh, my mm -hmm. uh, Rajesh, uh, is this good time to take an interview? Yeah, yeah. I already got uh, mail from uh, you know Cognizant, so I'm okay uh, for now. Yeah, oh, okay, that's great. So, you. could you please explain your process? Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Rajesh. Uh, currently, I'm working uh, uh, as a senior software engineer in uh, uh, IBM. Uh, so I have uh, four years of experience uh, into uh, IT industry. And uh, so I have a three plus into uh, IBM BPM. Uh, so I did I did uh, uh, two projects. So, so one is the uh, insurance domain and uh, uh, another one is the banking domain. And mm -hmm. uh, so currently uh, currently I'm working as an insurance uh, uh, domain. Uh, uh, yeah yeah. Uh, okay. Um, may may I know? Uh, do you have any relevant experience? Yeah, I have a uh, uh, two plus years of uh, uh, relevant into IBM DPM. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, oh, may I know what are the uh, challenges you faced in the into I mean, uh, uh, in your projects? Yeah. Uh, so in my project, so this is uh, uh, completely into development as well as a production. So I involved mm -hmm. for the both. Uh, uh, yeah, both uh, uh, things. So for the development, so I uh, I was there into the you know scratch from this project. Mm -hmm. So and uh, so I involved into into like uh, UI uh, UI design, uh, UI uh, design, and uh, I involved as integration and uh, so deployments. So, so uh, for the uh, uh, online uh, deployment, we mm -hmm. are taking the snapshot and uh, we are deploying the. Uh, uh, snapshot to the uh, you know different environments like SIT, UAT, and uh, uh, production. And uh, so currently, uh, currently I'm supporting uh, uh, supporting my uh, project. So whenever you got uh, uh, tickets from the clients, so uh, based on the priority, we are taking that tickets and uh, uh, we fixed uh, that tickets. So I, I involved as a end to uh, end uh, project uh, end to end flow in my project. Okay, my okay, Rajesh. So you were, you were saying you were involved from scratch, right? Then yeah. that means uh, you have full knowledge on this uh, IBM BPM, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have a good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Rajesh. So I'll, I'm going to start this interview. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, may I know the differences between the EPV and the environment variables? <laughs> Uh, so EPV uh, standards for the exposed uh, uh, process value, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, and EPVs are you know business related constraints which may uh, change in the future. Environments mm -hmm. environment variables are not business related constraints uh, uh, which may change in uh, futures. So EPVs can be changed uh, by the uh, people. Uh, so whoever uh, there into the admin and uh, who have access into the development. Mm -hmm. So they can they can able to change the EPV values and uh, environment values uh, can be changed uh, from the process admin console. Uh, EPVs can be changed from the process admin console and EPVs are the uh, scheduled. So whenever you schedule the uh, EPV value, so it will be scheduled on the time. So environment variables uh, uh, be reflected immediately once you change it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in order to use EPVs uh, in code, you have a uh, link explicitly in variable, uh, uh, like using the code tw dot epv dot, you know, uh, that constant uh, top mm -hmm. name. And the environment variables are, uh, are accessed anywhere into uh, the code tw dot uh, env dot uh, name. Okay, 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 good. So, what is the purpose of the uh, team filter service and how will you customize the dynamic groups? Uh, so, actually, uh, so we are using the team filter services uh, uh, to creating the dynamic teams. So, it contains, you know, uh, we are taking the uh, original uh, teams as an input and uh, 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 filter teams as an output. 
so we can add the inputs and uh, uh, we can we can uh, to create uh, as a dynamic uh, filter sorry, uh, filter uh, list so based on the uh, based on the requirement mm -hmm. okay so main of the differences between the uh, inbound and outbound web services integration uh, regarding to the web service uh, uh, integration uh, so we have a uh, inbound and outbound uh, web service integration so uh, inbound web service integration so if you are uh, exposing ibm bpm uh, service as a web service uh, then it is uh, uh, then it is called as a inbound web service integration so if you come to the outbound so in ibm bpm if you are uh, using crowd party whistle uh, url then it is called as a outbound uh, uh, web service integration so this is the big difference between inbound and outbound web service integration Okay, so how can you invoke a BPD from web services? For invoking the web services, so first you need to create as a uh, uh, BPD uh, in a start message event. And in that start message event, you need to attach UCA. So once you attach the UCA, so we can uh, we can uh, uh, take the service uh, in uh, like, uh, you know, general system services. And we can invoke the uh, component. Uh, we can invoke the component. So once it is provided that uh, uh, name, and uh, we can we can uh, uh, mark as a checkbox, and they said that uh, uh, visible to uh, third party system. So we can we can call uh, uh, via SOPY. Okay. So uh, the contrast between the uh, differences between the consume message and uh, durable subscription. Mm, yeah, uh, so coming to the uh, consume messages, so we have a uh, uh, different uh, uh, listener, so to start message event and uh, intermediate message event and uh, uh, end message event. Mm, uh, so if we have if we have more than one message event uh, to listen the uh, uh, same use, then we are checking as a consume uh, uh, message. So if consume message checkbox checked, then mm -hmm. message is consumed at uh, first message event and uh, message is not available at the second message event so if consume message you know checkbox is not checked the message is consumed at both the message event so this is the consume message so coming to the durable subscription so if bpd is running first uh, and the uh, uh, token is waiting at uh, you know intermediate message event then no need to uh, uh, checking the durable subscription so if UC is running first and uh, later BPD is running, if durable uh, subscription is not checked, then a message is ignored. So this is the difference between consumer message and uh, uh, durable uh, uh, subscription. Okay, fine. Uh, what is the differences between the simple loop and multi-instance loop? Uh, so this simple and multi-instance loop, so we are using as, uh, you know, uh, BPD uh, level. Uh, for uh, for coming to the simple loop, uh, so in order to execute an activity uh, for multiple times, so we go for uh, uh, simple looping. And uh, so uh, uh, coming to the multi instances looping, multi instances looping allows for uh, the activities in the loop to execute in parallel uh, with uh, uh, each uh, other. So uh, coming to the simple looping, loop maximum decides number of times uh, the activity is to execute, and uh, so so based on the uh, based on the term, uh, you know condition. So if the expression evaluates uh, false, then loop is terminated. And uh, so coming to the multi instance loop, so based on the you know quality of field, it decides the number of uh, uh, iterations. And uh, so if condition is evaluated to uh, then it will uh, come out the loop and uh, you you have to check cancel remaining uh, instance to, to close the uh, uh, you know other open uh, tasks so these are the uh, differences mm -hmm. okay uh, how to convert the xml to bo mm, so we can we can use as a uh, you know export or a serialization mm -hmm. to convert xml to bo Okay, good, good. And what are the differences between the uh, sub process and linked process? Uh, yeah, uh, sub process, uh, sub process and linked process. So both are we are using as a, a BPD level. So sub process. So in order to reduce the complexity in a view, uh, we can use for uh, uh, 
uh, uh, process linked process in order to call one BP to another BPD. So we use for the you know linked process. So coming to the sub process is not reusable and uh, linked process is reusable and uh, we can uh, we can link uh, one BPD to another BPD. So we go for a uh, you know uh, linked uh, process and uh, sub process uh, sub process have a uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, data. Uh, 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 it's not having a data mapping and uh, linked process having a uh, uh, data mapping. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's great. So, what is the purpose of the dynamic sub process? Uh, for regarding the dynamic sub process, so to, to call one BPD to another BPD uh, for the dynamically. So we are we are go for the uh, uh, condition. So in that scenario, we are using as a uh, dynamic sub process. Okay, Rajesh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Then, what are the best practice of coding uh, guidelines you are following in your project? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 we followed as far as, you know, uh, uh, IBM uh, 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 guidelines. So we always, you know, use the less number of uh, activities in a system, uh, system level uh, regarding to the performance wise. So always, uh, you know, check a delete task and a completion uh, checkbox for the uh, system activities for the performance. So uh, disable, uh, you know, tracking in tracking tab and uh, overview tab of uh, you know, your BPD regarding to the performance. So avoid execute to uh, exclusive, you know, use of our pre and post assignments. So and uh, so do not use shared view unless it is uh, really required. So uh, we are we are not using, you know, multiple uh, like uh, two or three uh, gateways in a sequence. So in service, uh, do not check, you know, save execution uh, context uh, checkbox for the uh, performance. So, uh, so we are not using EPV in a loop, and uh, so these are the these are the best, you know, uh, practices we are uh, we are following in this uh, uh, in my current project. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how we are going to handle the exception in service and BPD level? Mm. In service level, so we are handling exception using catch and uh, end exception. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, uh, for we are using as a TW.system.error. And mm -hmm. coming to the BPD level, so we are using you know, intermediate error event to, to catch the exception and uh, send it back to uh, backup system, TW.system.error. Okay. So can you tell me the name of some internal tables or of uh, BPM DB which you are aware of? Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, we have a lot of, you know, uh, D BPM DB product tables, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are instantly using mm -hmm. as a, you know, uh, LSW BPD instance mm -hmm. and LSW task, LSW task yeah. status course, yeah. and uh, we are using the, uh, yeah. you know, LSW snapshot, LSW projects, and LSW UC, LSW, you know, time schedule, uh, so these are the projects, uh, these are the, sorry, these are the tables we are using, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to the BPMDB. Okay, okay, Rajesh. Yeah, it is a good to, uh, good to take an interview. So mm -hmm. our HR will contact you shortly. Thank you. Thanks for the interview. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Rajesh. Yeah.